What is up guys, Digital VFX here once again and today I'm going to have a pretty quick but a th thorough tutorial on how to make a uh, EDM drop, uh, like the modern EDM drops like W&W, uh, Martin Garrix, uh, Hardwell, um, it's it's very simple actually so you're going to need a sub kick um, like that, uh, if you do not have a sample like this you might want to um, uh, go check out my tutorial that I'm going to make after this on how to make a sub kick uh, You're gonna want also clap probably and uh, Another kick with maybe maybe a hi-hat attached on it like you can hear it uh, the little uh, uh, I guess hi-hat noise. I don't really know how to explain it. It's kind of a white noise ish um, You're also gonna add a This is just my personal opinion. Um you're going to add a 3OXC, 3X OSC, um, and you're going to add a synth that you want um, for your pluck. Um, let see, I'll just use Massive. I'll go to a preset that, uh, that um, I bought. I guess that'll work. It's not the best synth, but uh, you can apply a synth that really works for you. Um, yeah, I bought these samples from ASDRsounds.com, I believe. Uh, they sell packs with some really, uh, high quality samples, and, um, it's only, like, 20 bucks for, like, 100 samples, so it's, it's pretty good. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, I can, first of all, I'm gonna add all these channels to the mixer. Okay, so I got my pattern with... I got those um three important things uh basically when you want your kick you don't want to be comp competing for a bass and right now um the sub bass has the middle and low frequencies uh the kick has a uh, middle and low frequency and the hi-hat has a middle and high frequency or the clap i mean sorry um so you're going to want to use a uh a compressor or a equalizer I, i'm not really sure um i know you're going to use maximus it's a EQing and uh, mastering. I guess mastering would be the word. Um, you're gonna want to add Maximus to all three of them, or a uh, fruity multiband compressor. I think. Yeah, this one um, that also does the same job. And so, so for your really big sub bass, you're gonna want to turn it down just a tad. You're gonna want to cut off the high frequency so it's not competing with the uh, hi hats, and you're gonna want to turn the middle frequency down so the um. So the kick is not, so the kick is not um, competing for it, because then it just sounds like shit when uh, when the frequencies are overlapping. You're gonna want to go into the uh, take a lot of the low off of the kick and a lot of the high. So the kick's basically uh, controlling the middle portion of the frequency, and the uh, the clap. Um, I want it to be the higher, so I'll cut down the middle a little bit. The low definitely a lot. And the high, kind of like that. I'm gonna lower the volume of the clap. Definitely a lot of, of most of the majority on the uh, sub bass because that's gonna be your bass. Um, you can also lower that depending on your subs or what level you want that. Um, I'm just gonna keep it there for the tutorial purposes. Uh, next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your synth. Um, what a lot of uh, people do is um, they will have triplets. So an easy way to do this, the you can get this. Um, an easy way to do this is to uh, go to Claw Machine and have it three, four time. Press accept, and you have. And you have um, the offset uh, melody that they normally would use on something like this. And I can just copy this and paste it for four measures. Make sure to go back and uh, hit the recording. So it sounds like this. And uh, you can go and add a uh, Maximus onto this. Uh, cut off the low frequencies. Turn down the 
volume a little bit, maybe add a little bit more reverb. Because there is a uh, there's a lot of reverb in these uh, house drops or these uh, EDM drops. Go back into there. Um, they also use triples, so it's a. Uh, and right here, I can use a triple. I can undo that. And uh, highlight this. Oops. Highlight this and uh, hold shift and scroll it to fit. So um, that's a triple. So it sounds like this. So it's offbeat. It's not uh, just a like a sixteenth note or an eighth note. So it'll sound like this. And uh, could also paste that there. And uh, it's also handy to um, switch notes every, I'd say, two measures. Um, even if it's just one, just to add a little bit of. Uh, this would be nice. It's a little bit boring though, so. Um, you can switch up a note, uh, the last one of every two measures. Do something like that. You can also uh, layer them if you want. Sounds kind of good. Um, another thing you can do is uh, add a side chain. If you don't have gross beat um, and use the side chain feature, you can also download. I just made a preset for a side chain um, and saved it. You can uh, go check out my side chaining tutorial, which is one of the first tutorials I did. Um, I might throw a uh, link in the description along with the sub kick if I remember. And it'll sound like this. And uh, that sounds pretty good. I can also change the, the synth if I wanted. Um, that'll work with a lot of synths. And the last thing I can do for the kind of icing on the cake is um, I can make a, uh, a white noise sweep. Oops, it's a little one. It's like one millionth too long. Uh, there we go. Can go back um, to there. Turn off the second and third oscillator. Insert white noise. Go back to the uh, lower the volume, and add another side chain. And instead of my preset in gross speed, I could just use the side chain feature and make it sound like this. my uh, pluck tutorial on how to make an EDM drop if you uh, like these videos um, or want me to do a different drop um, maybe like the electro one such as countdown by Hardwell um, then I might be able to do that but uh, this has been a digital VFX production and uh, thanks for watching